In the previous video, we discussed milling and its two basic types, which are peripheral milling and face milling. You can watch that video from here. In this video, we discuss types of milling as promised in the previous video. Several types of peripheral milling are slab milling, slot milling, saw milling, side milling, straddle milling, and form milling. Several types of face milling are conventional face milling, partial face milling, end milling, profile milling, pocket milling, surface contouring. Let's discuss all one by one. Slab milling. Slab milling is the basic form of peripheral milling in which the cutter width extends beyond the workpiece on both sides. Slotting, also called slot milling, is the milling operation in which the width of the cutter is less than the workpiece width, creating a slot in the workpiece. Saw milling. It is basically slot milling, but the cutter is very thin, and this operation can be used to mill narrow slots or cut a work part in two. Side milling. It is the milling operation in which the cutter machines the side of the workpiece. Straddle milling. It is same as side milling, only cutting takes place on both sides of the workpiece. Form milling. In form milling, the milling teeth have a special profile that determines the shape of the slot that is cut in the workpiece. Form milling is therefore classified as a forming operation. There are two types of peripheral milling based on the, the direction of cutter rotation, which are up milling and down milling. In up milling, also called conventional milling, the direction of motion of the cutter teeth is opposite the feed direction when the teeth cut into the work. It is milling against the feed. In down milling, also called climb milling, the direction of cutter motion is the same as the feed direction when the teeth cut the work. It is milling with the feed. Conventional face milling. It is the, the type of face milling in which the diameter of the cutter is greater than the work part width, so the cutter overhangs the work on both sides. Partial face milling. It is face milling where the cutter overhangs the work on only one side. End milling. It is the type of face milling in which the cutter diameter is less than the work width, so a slot is cut into the workpiece. Profile milling. It is basically the form of end milling in which the outside periphery of a flat part is machined. Pocket milling. Pocket milling is another form of end milling used to machine shallow pockets into flat parts. Surface contouring. Surface contouring is the face milling in which a ball nose cutter, rather than square end cutter, is fed back and forth across the work along a curvilinear path at close intervals to create a three-dimensional surface form.